Well, hello there, friends. I'm going to show you how to make a fish in papillon. Wrapping a fish with parchment paper. It's a really superb technique. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're starting right now. Okay, friends, let me take the mystery out of uh, papillot, cooking uh, things in papillot. Usually, whatever we cook has to be nice and thin because the papillot is going to be nice and big, and then if the fish is too thick or the chicken is too thick, it's not going to cook. So I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you the little details. We're going to make a salmon. It could be any fish, really. I'm just taking a salmon because I like making it that way. Uh, we're going to put it with a julienne of uh, leeks and, uh, and shallots. And you see, I got some tricks really cool. But I'll show you. It's very easy to do, friends. It, people make it more difficult than what it is. Nothing we do is complicated, I promise you. Look, I got leeks. Look, look, look how beautiful those uh, julienne of leeks are. The shallots are mostly just uh, sliced thin. No big deal. But, you know, I'm going to show you how to make this. It's really simple. You know, when you see, when you think things down, this is the leak, basically, right? And, uh, and I'm, I'm not going to need it all. I don't need this guy because I'm not going to make that much of it. So what I do is I cut it in, uh, in manageable, manageable, manageable <laughs> size. Uh, so then we can do it. And now, how do you get it like this? It's very simple. You take your leak and you cut it in half, right? And you don't necessarily need it all because I don't need it all. And then what I do is I take the center of it and I move that guy aside right there. And then what I do is I flatten it really, really, really flat. And then I just go up and down. Remember when you use your knife, friends, use the, the uh, sewing motion, sewing motion. Very important, right? Sewing motion, you see? The sewing motion is what helps you, my friends. And then you get yourself Julian. Okay? So very simple. You see? Thanks. When you see it, you go, oh, I can do that. You know, when you look at this, you go, oh, mama mia, what did he do here? How did he get this? Eh, nothing. You know, I always tell you, friends, if a chef can do it, you can do it. I promise you, this is not complicated. Cooking is not complicated. People make a big deal than what it is. It's not a big deal. Look, no big deal, right? So now look. Oh, oh, well, you know what I'm talking. I'm going to put a little butter in a pan. And um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute it. I'm going to make a, in, in French cuisine, we call it a fondue of, of, of uh, uh, poireaux et chalotte. A, a fondue is basically we're going to melt them in butter. And we're going to do it slowly. We're not going to caramelize them and get them all brown or anything. No, no, we're going to melt them. And it's a whole different experience in eating a, 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 an onion. Uh, because leeks and, uh, and shallots, I don't care what anybody says, they're part of the onion family. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same thing. See, look. I'm going to cut them very thin, friends, very thin, very thin. You see? Same deal. And then when you get to the end, sometimes the, the top layer is a little slippery, so yeah, get rid of it. All right, and you have it right there, and if you want to cut it, then you go like this. You see? And then you still have your very thin. The, the root end, I don't want it. See, right there, we got some nice thin pieces of shallots, okay? So you see, we take the mystery out of everything on this channel. You know, so don't let anybody tell you you can't cook. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, yeah, I'm a lousy cook. Yeah, guess what? Everybody's born a lousy cook. You become one. How do you become one? Understanding cooking is not that big of a deal. You know, it's not like piano. I've been trying to play piano my whole life. I only play three songs, and I'm not that good at it. Uh, tennis, golf. There's people that play golf their whole life. You think they're good at it? <laughs> no. You can play uh, sports, things for a whole life and not be good at it. Doesn't mean you don't enjoy doing it, right? And, uh, and, uh, and, 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 but in cooking, you do the same recipe for a few, enough time. Trust me, you're going to make it perfect. Golf, I don't care how long you play golf, you're still going to be a lousy golfer. <laughs> so, you know, there's hopes out there, friends. There's hope that you 
and everybody else can become a great cook. So what am I doing here? Very important, butter. Remember, butter is your friend, okay? Anybody that doesn't cook with butter, you know they have an issue. <laughs> Only kidding. Only kidding. I don't want to pick on anybody. Salt and pepper. The salt is going to help us draw some of that moisture out of there. We don't want it. Pepper, I like to use a coarse black pepper in here. And this, my friends, believe it or not, we're going to cook at a very low flame. Okay? And this is part of your mise en place. That means you got to get it ready before you start your recipe. So it takes a long you don't want to do it fast. Don't crank the heat and get them all brown. You don't want to do that for this. You want to make them melt them. You want to basically melt them. Melt the shallots and melt the, the leek in butter. I promise you, it's a different experience. You got to try it. You're going to like it, I promise you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the fish. And uh, I, I like to keep it in the fridge. You know, I don't like to... Uh, um, to leave my fish or my poultry or my meat at, uh, uh, out. I always keep it in the fridge. So now remember, this is a beautiful piece of fish that I get at my uh, uh, fishmonger, the fish. I don't want it to brown, remember. Low heat, low heat, low heat. Jean-Pierre, low heat, low heat. This burner is so big, because if, uh, if I brown them, I don't want them brown. I want maybe a little light brown, but not dark brown at all. Okay, we're not looking for that. It's a different cooking technique, my friends. Okay, so we want to do it gently. In fact, you know, this burner is so big, then it's probably, I'm going to move it over there, Jack, because this burner is too big. And that means, that means uh, it, if it's too big, then um, it's going to cook it too fast and I won't be able to control it. So I'm moving it in a small burner. I want to take my time to do this. This is probably going to take 15, 20 minutes, friends. I don't know exactly yet, but maybe, Jack, we can put a, uh, a time clock so I can tell them exactly how long it took me. Like, a, what do you call it? A, a timer? A chrono, chrono or something, whatever it is. <laughs> when it calculates how long you've been doing it. Chrono something is laughing always because I don't know how to say it correctly. But, all right, now we're going to cut a fish. We're going to cut a, we're gonna cut a piece of fish. We don't want it to be too thick, friends, because if it's too thick, it's going to take too long to cook, and that's not the purpose of a papillot cooking. So we're going to cut it fairly thin, all right? So this is it right there. You see? This is right there. This is a beautiful piece of fish right there, and that's going to be perfect, all right? And I'm only going to do one, so that's all I'm going to cut right now. All right, and I'm going to keep it in the fridge until I'm ready to go. All right, so, oh, one more thing I got to tell you. Let me put it in the fridge. Always keep your fish in the fridge, your chicken, everything in the fridge. And then we're going to clean this up. I also wanted to, to show you, friends, I have it here. I wanted to show you. I cut some potatoes. I'm using a Yukon Gold potatoes, and I cut them. Uh, so, again, they're not too thick, but I poached them in boiling water. So they cooked already. Right? And I'm going to put the whole thing together. You're going to see it. It's not complicated. People, like I said, make it more complicated than what it is. And, uh, you know, today I'm doing it with salmon, but tomorrow you could decide to do it with snapper, with flounder, with any fish Then you can cut into some thin medallion. Any fish. You can do a completely different flavor. Like I said, today I'm going to make it with, uh, you'll see. In a minute. I want to make it with leeks and all that, but sometimes I make a snapper with a, with a pesto on it and, uh, and a completely different flavor. We take it out. The, the, what I want to show you today is not especially the recipe, it's more of the technique how to, uh, to make a papillot. And you'll see it's very simple. All right? I'll be back in a minute when this is completely melted away. The smell of the bull. And the, and, the, and the leeks and the, and the shallots, my friends, is amazing. I promise you, do it slowly, remember, very important. All right, I'll be back in a minute when this is all totally finished, ready to go. Okay, friends, they're going to take a good 15 minutes. So take your time, relax, remember, very, very low. If you could be here smelling those, oh, amazing. Shallots and leeks cook very slowly. Oh, mamma mia, delicious. So now, friends, we take a piece of parchment paper, a regular piece of parchment paper. Eh? That's the way it comes out of a roll, except I buy them in sheet, but the same deal. Eh? And what we're going to do, we fold them in half. 
I'm going to show you how to make the perfect papillote. Eh? It's very simple, friends. Fold them in half. Make sure it's really exactly in half now. Don't be cheating now. Exactly in half. Right? You hold that side, and then you fold it, you fold it, and you make sure it's really, really creased, so it's strong. Okay, so now, with the folded side on my left, because I'm right-handed, so obviously, if you're left-handed, you do the other way around. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cut, and I'm not following a pattern, I just gave you an idea, right? So, uh, we're going to go in like this, and we're going to grab it as much as we can, and we're going to cut around, and we're going to go as wide as we can. Right there, and then we'll get to the top. We'll go a little round like this. And, and then we'll go like this. That's it. So you saw how you did it, right? Pretty simple, right? Eh? So we got rid of this. And uh, <laughs> there's a cookie sheet here. And because I love you guys, I made you a heart. A little late for Valentine, but here it is. <laughs> All right, friends. So now, here's what we're going to do, okay? We got the fish. We got the leeks. We got the potatoes. We got everything. We're going to put a little butter. <laughs> so I got melted butter here. Whole butter now. We don't need no clarified butter for this, right? The whole butter. And we're going to go in and we're going to put some butter in there, okay? Now we're going to stay on the right. We're not going to go on the left at all here. Because the left side, we leave it alone. We're just going to go on the right side, where we're going to put all of our stuff. And we try to occupy uh, just a little space, as little as possible. We don't want to occupy too much, because we're going to need the other space to fold. Then we're going to take our potato slices. We'll put one here and one here. Okay, remember they cooked, friends. The only thing that's going to cook in there is going to be a little more butter. Yes, sir. A little more butter. All right, and then we're going to put some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper in there. Voila. Okay, so far so good. Right? And then we're going to put a fish. And we're going to put also a little bit of sour cream. So we're going to put the sour cream here, friends. You can skip the sour cream if you want, don't want to, or you can use a creme fraiche. It'll be perfectly fine, whichever one you want to use. I also like to use a few peas in this recipe. You can skip the peas if you don't like them. Don't worry. It's not like somebody's going to complain. You know what? I like your papillot, but I don't know about the peas. So then we're going to take the fish. We're going to put it right on there, my friends. And then we're going to put a little salt on it. Then we're going to put a little pepper on it. And then we're going to wipe our hands. And now we're going to close. However, before we close, friends, we're going to do two more things. One, we're going to put some uh, 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 cut shallots. Uh, not shallots, um, uh, chives, and then we're going to put a caramelized leeks. Chives, friends, is another onion. Chives is another onion. So we got the three onions right there. We got the leeks, we got the shallots, and we got the chives. <laughs> Trifecta! <laughs> It's a trifecta. All right, my friends. Now, the little tricky part, not tricky, tricky, it's a little tricky, it's to fold. I'll show you. Make sure the fish is never thicker than this, because thicker it is, more difficult it is. Now, you certainly don't need to do this, but I'm going to put a little bit of Sambuca, because I love it. And just a little bit, you'll see, you'll see, look, 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 pay attention. You see, look, almost nothing. Almost nothing, but that's enough to give it amazing flavor. You don't like Sambuca, you don't have any, don't put it in. Not that big of a deal. If you don't have any, you're not going to put it in, right? <laughs> uh, Mamma mia. Here we go, my friend. So now, 
Now we have to make those two match. Very important how you fold these things, okay? First, I know my fingers are gonna be in a way all the time and Jack's gonna have a heck of a time capturing it all, but we're gonna fold really, and when you fold, you go in all the way through. You're gonna go maybe one inch. The first fold, the very small fold. And you go in and you fold all the way in. Then you go an inch, an inch and a half, an inch, an inch and a half. And you fold. You see, look, one inch, one inch, one inch and a half. And you fold it a little bit and you go one inch, one inch and a half. And you fold, very important, you fold. Because what happened, friends, you're creating a, a steam. You see, you create a steam uh, uh, a pocket, if you will, and you're gonna steam the fish, you see? Very simple, you go in, you see, another inch, inch and a half, and you continue doing the same thing, friends, you see? See? Not complicated. When you see it down, you go, you go, well, I can do this. You can do anything in the kitchen, my friends. There is nothing. We're not like gifted people. Chef, we're just cooks. What we do, anybody can do, I promise you. Cooks, we can do anything we want. We go in there right there, and we get a little tick, tricky over here at the end. Don't let it bother you. Keep going. Keep going until you get to the end, and when you get to the end, 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 you take it, and you fold it right there, and you squeeze it. And right there, my friend, you have yourself a beautiful papillot. So now, what do we do from now? We take it and we put it on a cookie sheet. What's the best way to grab it? You grab it by the end, you put your hand underneath. Voila, make sure this is tight, friends. Make sure everything is nice and tight. I got the oven going at 375. If you have a convection oven, put it on there. And the idea is not to create a hot air and cook the fish, it's gonna take about 15 minutes. I'll be back when it's nice and puffy and ready to go. Okay, be back in a minute, friends. Okay, friends. Remember, if you got a confection, turn it on. It creates some hot air in there. That's what we need, hot air. So I'm gonna take it out of the oven. It's been a 13 and a half, 14 minutes. And voila, look how puffy, look how puffy that is, friends. You see, it's gonna deflate very fast, though. So what you do, look how beautiful that is. That is gorgeous. And uh, and you take and you see, whoo, it did its job, it cooked. You see, friends? And so what we're gonna do, you, you don't wanna serve it like that to your guests, right? So what I do is I cut it. I just cut the paper for them to make it easier. Right? I cut it all the way around it for my guests to eat it, right? I cut it all the way around it, but I serve it to them in the paper. Yeah, so it looks kind of cool, right? You serve it like this, and then you wanna go all the way down here, and you cut the whole thing off. Just cut the whole thing off. You can twill it with a fork, you know, in the classic uh, way we would take it like this, and we would fold it on the side to give it some kind of a cool, presentation over there, you know? And if you have a couple of pieces of leeks then got a little too brown, I like to take them off, all right? And then, what I do, friends, at the last minute, I got my chives that I put in for fresh chives at the end right there. Look how simple that is. Let's take this out right there so it's out of our way for now, okay? And look how beautiful that is, my friend. So you see, it's a cool way to present your, uh, your fish and, uh, and trust me, it's an amazing way to eat it. And, uh, and um, with no further ado, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna eat it. And, uh, and this, this right there, my friend, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see much of it uh, with a camera, but it should be cooked to perfection. You see, uh, a, a, I mean, remember, it's, it's a lot more cooked than if you do it plain and very because it's cooked with the steam. But uh, it's still very flaky. Look how gorgeous that is, friends. You see, it's beautiful. And uh, I'm not gonna eat too much of it because it's gonna be hot. <sighs> ha. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mm. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my friend. Oh. Mmm. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of cooking the leeks and these shallot very slowly, buttery, so they're melting. They're melting in my mouth and still giving me an amazing flavor. And trust me in the Sambuca. You see how little that was? That's the first flavor that you taste. Test. I hope you make it. If you like more of those, I'll make you different, different recipes in it. You see, it's really fun. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And look at this. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, no. Oh. No, you taste it. Mmm. Oh. Oh. You're gonna have to make another one to do your picture. I have to, I know that. That's okay. Mmm.